30 times. Ten times more. Two times more. Letting go and stop. So it was my mother, a very pious, naive mother. In those days, you could not work anymore when you married. You had to stop working. So you could not go by to law? your personal. Yes, by law. By law, everybody, the man has to provide. That was in those days. So she was at home. She was uh, 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 intelligent, but she had no career only having children but she was also pious a, a, a god-fearing person and uh, she said that at that moment that invocation that she was going to make it, you a missionary yes yes and i was not aware of that only i was different and i came to know by talking to my mother later very much later that she said that and, and she told me uh, the whole birth, and she knew it like it was yesterday. So uh, she told me that 48 years later, I am in New York. I am doing a experiment in the Feinstein Biochemical Institute, and I am connected uh, to take blood uh, out of me while I'm doing what I'm doing. A heart meter, lung meter, it's all connected in a warm, nice room. And they asked me, do, do what the Iceman is doing. I just did breathing techniques and I gave it all. It gave it so much that they had to uh, take away the lung meter because I stayed more than two minutes without breathing. And then you get a flat line. They thought it's defect. And then they took it out. They came in another one defect again and at the third machine i was on i was on and i didn't care anymore uh, I, I stayed there for one hour and a quarter in that room and they took all the blood and a week later they called me that was dr ken Kamler, and he said we have the blood results and uh, 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 and, and it shows that if you are able to reproduce this in a group of people, then that means huge consequences for human mankind. And then he named all these diseases related to the results I had let out there in the Feinstein Institute a week ago in the blood, showing that I was controlling the vagus nerve. And the vagus nerve is considered to be in science, in medical science, not to be controlled by humans. Thirty times.
Ten times more. Two times more. Letting go and stop. He cannot. But I showed big control in the vagus nerve. And if you are able to control influence into the vagus nerve, you are able to bring down inflammation. And inflammation is the cause and effect of any disease. Now, when you so, say that you could control the vagus nerve, are you talking about they could measure an electrical stimulus that you were sending to it? No, they uh, uh, they took my blood and within the blood related to the vagus nerve, there are 307 blood values. And those blood values showed a complete difference than of a normal test person. When Dr. Ken Kamala had called me with the results saying, if you are able to reproduce this, then that means huge consequences for human mankind. Uh, 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 and then he named all these diseases, half an hour. And then, I mean, at that moment in the telephone, of course I can do that. The missionary was born consciously to my, to my brain, to my consciousness, my awareness. It was there, boom, without saying. Half hour later, I got a telephone that my mother had died. Wow. You, you see how it all connects. And uh, this is just a personal story. Everybody has beautiful personal stories. And magic happens only if you look for it. And, and it makes all sense if you look deeply within yourself and find out why you are here what for and that you have a great impact possible by standing up and do things out of the box and do it be audacious have no fear how much though do you think that that is they just don't know how to access that part of their brain you said in the book something that i i think addresses the opioid crisis more profoundly which is you said everybody who looks towards the light is looking for purpose and when I think about the opioid crisis, I think about that, like people not knowing what they want in life, people feeling completely disconnected from the world around them, from their body. Um, what do you there think? You yes, into the darkness, into the no knowledge, into being desperately out there, into letting it go. They are completely lost in their lives. That the purpose of life itself is in inside the brain stem the brain stem is about life about survival life and death so life is like light death is like shut down darkness over done Thirty times. Ten times more. <sighs> Ten.
Two times more. <sighs> Letting go and stop. The light. And uh, 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 how? By neurology. What is neurology? It's electricity. It's potentials. Neurotransmitters. And you are the alchemist. You are able, this is what we have shown as well, how to produce neuro, a uh, hundred no, uh, percent, percent neural activity in the brain. And with that, you make the right biochemistry inside the brain for the will, which is a neurotransmitters, to connect with any part of the brain. That's the way we are naturally built to do. But because of our behavior, we disconnected from the right uh, biochemistry and we are limited. We are narrow minded. And uh, 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 the expansion of the neurology inside uh, the brain, which should be until you die, expanding like fresh, like a tree. It always goes on, on, on. Every spring, new neurology, neurology. Bigger, bigger, expansion, expansion of consciousness. And when you're ready, you're ready, man. And then you have no fear. You can go, you can go, you fly. You know why. And it is all in. And that neurology now is the power of the mind, which we are going to show. But because nobody was listening and thinking that man is crazy, that's why I work with the top researchers in the world. Because the natives, hundreds of years ago, they knew, I bless your seven generations before and your seven generations to come. What kind of stupidity is that? Uh, let's take over their land. It's, uh, no, you are too primitive. And now I tell you, we go back to our nativeness. We go back to respect and ancestry, and we go back to purpose. And now we can do this consciously. Your purpose, if you get into the DNA, into the encrypted codes, damaged by trauma of your ancestors who passed on in generations their trauma in the genetics, then you feel relieved. You feel enlightened. So if we go for the best within ourselves, for a freedom, a fearless state of being, a very powerful being that is not being withheld, withheld by anything, if you like that, then you have to go and deal with the encrypted codes in the DNA and release it.